Hello viewers, welcome to your program. It is Economic Insights. Now, in continuation with the ongoing report you are doing on housing deficits in Nigeria, today you agree with me that in Nigeria we are having over 17 million housing deficits. Now, doing justice to this is a man who is contributing in no small way to the development of the housing sector. He is Sir Young Toby Ekechi. He is the Managing Director, CEO of First Generation Mortgage Bank. He's going to be giving us their contribution, the challenges, issues affecting the mortgage system in Nigeria, and how we can improve the housing sector in Nigeria today. Sit back, it promised to be an interesting conversation. I'll be back after this time out. Ownership is a priority for most Nigerians. However, the accessibility has remained a dream for a significant proportion of the population due to limited sources of suitable financing and limited access to affordable housing. First Generation Mortgage Bank Limited has distinguished itself to become one of the leading players in the housing and mortgage sector in Nigeria with the aim of delivering accessible and affordable homes to Nigerians. Sir Young Toby Ekechi is the Managing Director, CEO. First Generation Mortgage Bank, uh, like you know, is uh, one of Nigeria's uh, premier, one of Nigeria's uh, best mortgage bank. Uh, it has a chairman, a man of vision, a man who felt Nigerians should have a platform where they can access mortgages, where they can access funding to own homes. And that man is Chief Dr. Fabian Mora. He is the owner of a whole lot of uh, construction companies in Nigeria, a whole lot of uh, property development companies in Nigeria. And uh, in his wisdom, he felt properties are being developed in the country, uh, houses are being built, but Nigerians do not have access to these houses because of funding, because they cannot afford to pay. And he uh, came to him, told himself that it would be good if I put off a bank that can assist Nigerians buy houses and repay over you know, a long period of time. And uh, it is in that direction that he established this bank. Initially, this bank used to go with the name Four Generation Homes and they literally transformed to Four Generation Mortgage Bank. And I can tell you, the bank has been doing fantastically well. With its commitment to providing affordable homes to Nigerians, First Generation Mortgage Bank Limited has successfully implemented innovative ideas such as rent to own scheme, house ownership scheme, shop ownership scheme and micro mortgage scheme the bank has developed a lot of products a whole lot of products and all these products are geared towards making sure that even the common man on the street will be able to afford a house will be able to afford a home um, we have what we call rent to own scheme rent to own scheme simply means you stay in a house that you're renting at the end of some years, your rent house will automatically make you a house owner. So you pay rent, say after five years, after 10 years. After 10 years, the house becomes yours. So you do not need to have the burden of raising huge capital to own a house. So instead of staying in one bedroom flat and pay rent to a landlord, you pay rent to the house that you want to own. And at the end of some years, the house becomes yours. Then we also have uh, what to call a uh, uh, house ownership scheme, you know, where if you own a house yourself, but a house has good title, and you want to also have some cash available to do other developments, we can also assist you, fund you using your house as collateral. We will release funds to you, and you also enter into some other constructions to make houses available, increase the number of housing stock in the country. We also deal a lot with uh, uh, ownership of shops. That's what we call SOS, Shop Ownership Scheme. So if there's a shop to be owned and you're a businessman 
and we think you have the capacity to repay, we can actually help you own the shop. You buy your shop and you pay over a long period of time, 10 years, 5 years, 15 years, as you have capacity. Very recently, we have introduced another product that we call micro mortgage. We discover that most Nigerians, even when they own houses, they find it difficult to get funding for furnishing, funding for repairs, funding for all manner of things to put the house in a state that they will enjoy. So we said, okay, fine, we can bring up a product where you can come if you're a salary owner, if you have a legitimate means of income, we can give you some funds, some money. You go and put your house to a level that you think you can enjoy so and pay us over a period of time and the beautiful thing about all this is that our products come with single unit interest rate it is difficult to find it anywhere in nigeria it is only federal mortgage bank and Fair generation mortgage bank that you can see facility housing facility home ownership facility on a single interest rate and that is wonderful Most people do not think out of the box. If you think out of the box, you will discover that most of the world's problems will be solved. That's what we do here. We are specialists in structuring. We structure transactions. We structure transactions in such a way that the person buying the house is not under pressure. The person selling is not under pressure. The mortgage bank providing funding is also not under pressure. So what do I mean by this? You do not need to bring 100, 100 million or 50 million to own a house. If we have a developer, of course we have developers that we have partnered with. We have profiled a whole lot of developers. People like AFAP Construction, people like uh, Verizon Heritage and all that. We've profiled them and we discover that they have capacity. So if they have capacity and the land is available, we structure. We we'll go to the off-taker side, get the off-takers ready. We put some things in place that you can put in small amount of money. The construction begins. As the construction goes, you pay. Then the bank will come also with their own contribution. So before you know it, all parties are not under a very strong burden. And the house will be standing and you enter your house. Then also on the other side of the social housing scheme, we have also developed a very very near perfect relationship with federal mortgage bank you see most nigerians do not understand that nhf is a reality they don't think that nhf is a reality so they think it's politics but i'm telling nigerians that nhf is a reality federal mortgage bank currently has been is being constituted is very willing and they have been disbursed funds to nigerians so long as you're a contributor so most contributors will go out to find out who the contributors are and the moment we know them, we bring them together, look for a house that they can afford, and we'll get Federal Mortgage Bank to fund them, and they repay through us over a long period of time, 10 years, 15 years, and so. So um, funding, we have uh, devised a means to overcome the funding challenge. Yes, in the next five years, um, we have promised our shareholders, we have promised our customers, we have promised Nigerians that we will ensure that the process of owning a home will get easier, simpler, easier and simpler with Federal Generation Mortgage Bank. We have started that already. Most of the products I mentioned earlier, we are going to improve on them and we are also working towards extending to other parts of the country. Uh, if you ask me from my own side, I will tell you that we have conquered the Abuja market. And uh, we are going to the Lagos market. We intend going to the southern market also and also do the same thing. So if what we have done in Abuja, we extend it to Lagos and we extend it to this core southern part of the country and the northern part of the country, I think Nigerians should give us an award observation that majority of Nigerians may not be able to utilize borrowed funds from the private sector necessitated the establishment of National Housing Fund, NHF.
The goal of NHF is to provide a cheap source of long-term funds that will make it easy for all Nigerians to own houses. However, the development of housing through NHF seems not to have achieved its objective. You see, in the past, um, in the past, from my understanding and from my experience, uh, everything about Federal Mortgage Bank then uh, was being politicized. And also, I can say, I may not be entirely correct, that previous management far back may not have what it takes to run the place. But I can tell you categorically that the current management of Federal Mortgage Bank that I interact with, you see, when the, the MD is a professional, the EDs are professionals. So they have been given the much needed publicity so that Nigerians can understand how they can access NHF. And I tell you, if you see the volume of disbursements that uh, Federal Market Mark have done in the past six months to one year, you will marvel. If we had this level of disbursements like three, four, five, six years ago, that deficit, that housing deficit you are seeing, wouldn't be there. So as I speak with you, Last, just last, last month or two months ago, Federal Mortgage Bank and their wisdom called together all mortgage banks and gave us a mandate that we need to sensitize Nigerians, apart from what they are doing themselves. We need to sensitize Nigerians and let them understand that it is their right. So long as you're a contributor, it is your right. You do not need to pay for it. The funds are there. It is your right. Apply through a mortgage bank, but make sure there is proper tackling. So what has been happening before, some people may want to, you know, take a shortcut. Get houses without proper title and no proper documentation, they go to Federal Mortgage Bank. Of course, it will not fly. So both the current management of Federal Mortgage Bank have simplified everything. They make you understand what should fly and what will not fly. So when you come with what will fly, within a very short time, you get disbursement. I think my bank is a major beneficiary. We've been having disbursements for properly packaged, you know, housing requests from Nigerians. It's simple. First of all, you have to be a contributor because it's a scheme that is coming from a pool. You have to be a contributor to NHF. And uh, whether you're a government worker, whether you're a private worker, you have that opportunity to contribute. So if you're a contributor, you are entitled. So when you are sure you're a contributor, look for a mortgage bank. That is why we are here, mortgage banks. Look for a mortgage bank, it becomes your primary mortgage bank or primary mortgage institution. Your primary mortgage institution will layers between you and Federal Mortgage Bank. Look for a property or ask your mortgage bank to look for a property for you. So when you identify a property, also ensure that the property you have identified is with proper title. It has to be a C of O. It has to be a development lease or title that is acceptable to Federal Market Bank. So when you have all that, you fill the form, the, your market bank will have the form. You fill the form of the house type and the value of the house that you need. And your mortgage bank will do all the other processes. Move to Federal Market Bank, they do their inspection of the house and they will they confirm the house is existing and the title is proper and you can afford. You have affordability. That, by that I mean that what you earn can carry the repayment of the loan. You get the loan. It's that simple. Um, I think I would rather say the challenges are faced by mortgage banks in Nigeria. Uh, it is not, uh, uh, cannot be related particularly to first generation mortgage bank. All mortgage banks in Nigeria face this problem liquidity problem when i say liquidity problem no matter how liquid you are as a mortgage bank uh, you give loans that run over years and of course depositors funds stay for like one month two months three months so how are you going to close that gap using short-term funds to finance long-term lending is difficult so you need to be very creative to be able to cover that gap. So most mortgage banks that may not have that creativity to cover that gap will shy away from giving loans. Except if you have that excessive capital and who can get that capital in billions and trillions. So um, most mortgage banks find it difficult.
to marry the two. So what they do is to shy away. And that is why you are also seeing this increasing number of housing deficit. But for us, a Fair Generation Mortgage Bank, I think we have gotten it right. We have gotten it right. Um, like I told you before, structuring. We structure a lot of things to make sure that we don't find ourselves inside this envelope of no available funding. Oh yes, we experience default. Uh, default rates are, I would say, very high. And uh, you, you, you won't be surprised that it's happening that way. The nature of our economy, the current economic situation, you can see what is happening recently. The labor union are asking for increased pay, 30,000. So if somebody gets a mortgage, uh, you earn, we profile you, maybe you can pay. But as responsibilities begin to increase, use that same fund, that same salary to cater for some other responsibilities. So there is that tendency that you may not be able to meet your mortgage obligations and so default setting. So we have been experiencing a whole lot of default and uh, we also been managing it. We managed it in some cases, after a while we get the customers to clean up. In some cases we have gone the level of this uh, foreclosure and all that. But it's, it's, it is a reality. Uh, a negative reality in the mortgage industry. Uh, if you ask me with my experience with developers, uh, mass housing usually are for the low income people. And that is actually what should be encouraged. But you see, in a capitalistic economy, in a economy that is driven by profit making, uh, people tend to go to what give them higher profit, higher returns, than what gives them lower returns. So uh, those low income houses, you actually make less profit from them. So before now, most developers would like to go into houses of 80 million, construction costs could be 40 million, uh, they sell at 80 million and they make 40 million naira profit. So but when you go into building a house of five, six million, your margin, profit margin, will be small, and most people shy away from that. Also, the cost of construction materials, the cost has made it difficult for real estate practitioners to go into low-income houses, the mass housing, as we speak. Uh, because uh, if you check the cost of cement, cost of uh, roof, cost of all that, and you are expected to build a house of five million, but the cost has got to six million or five million. So what is your margin? So you better shy away. So I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's something that the government need to look into again, look into again and see what can be done to encourage uh, real estate developers to go into mass housing. No, government has uh, have not done well. Uh, the only area I will give gov government credit is uh, I don't know how they have turned around Federal Mortgage Bank now. I will give, the, give them credit there because uh, Federal Mortgage Bank is uh, a government owned uh, institution. They are doing wonderfully well now, unlike before. But aside that, I don't think government of the day you know, have done well. Um, they should do better than what they are doing. I, was, I expected that government would have come with a whole lot of legislation to make construction smoother and easier. And even at that, I don't know whether you have noticed this. If you go around the street of Abuja, there are a lot of houses developed. We're talking about housing deficit. A lot of developed houses that are empty. So if you remove all the empty houses in Abuja, in Lagos, in Kanu, in Calabar, you know where. If you now add them to the stock of available houses, the deficit will come down. But government is not doing anything about this. I expected the Senate, the House of Reps, to pass a legislation that will impose some high level of tax on empty houses. Then all those houses will be available to Nigerians. But they're not doing that. So I think government should do more. They should do more.
Okay, let me, it's it's very very important to bring this up. Um, my advice to young Nigerians, especially in the area of house ownership, because I I I, I was caught in that web also. I started my career in 1999, and uh, I was not I couldn't own my own house until after 10 years or thereabout. But I'm telling Nigerians today, the moment you have a means of livelihood, you are working or you are doing business or you're earning, begin to think of how to, how to own a home. It's very simple. The money you use in the beer parlor, the money you use doing one thing or the other, put it, channel it towards owning a home. If you're a contributor to Federal Mortgage Bank, go and identify a property as cheap as it may be start with that 5 million 10 million 15 million and that money you spend on frivolities put it towards home ownership you'll be shocked that before you work for 10 15 years you would have been owning like about three four properties you know all over the place and guess what when you have one single property it is worth more than 20 cars. It is worth more than 30 other pleasure, pleasurable assets that you may have. Houses appreciate. They can hardly depreciate. So that is my honest advice to Nigerians. My name is Sir Young Toby Ekechi, currently the Managing Director CEO, Federation Generation Mortgage Bank. Uh, before now, I used to be uh, an assistant general manager of Asso Savings and Loans PLC, another leading mortgage bank in Nigeria then. Um, I've also worked with Access Bank. Then my foundation, my banking foundation, the career actually started from Citibank, you know Citigroup, Citibank US, started from Citibank where I spent well over eight years holding various uh, positions in that bank. Uh, aside banking, like my name comes, I'm a Catholic Knight, a Knight of St. John International. I'm a chorister. That's what I do after my banking work, I sing. Uh, every Sunday I sing in church. I am married to this beautiful lady here, Lady Angel Gladys Ekechi, and we have three beautiful children. I'm from Imo State, don't worry. Wonderful. Okay, mostly very big thank you, sir, for making that time to be with us at the position. Thank you so much for your contribution. We really appreciate them. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.